Hey everybody, this is Jared, and this is my Asus Prime. What I want to show off today is the Asus MyCloud. There's three different software that comes inside the MyCloud. Um, all of them, um, in, under MyCloud, basically it just opens up three different um, softwares. Like up here, you can see it. It's my content, my desktop, and at Vibe. Basically, I'm just gonna go through a quick um, run through on what these are, and in case you're interested in getting the <clears throat> getting the Prime or just interested in what this is, um, I'll just show it off. But right right now, I'm under the My Content, and basically all this is is just a um, it launches the ASUS Web Storage, which basically is exactly like Dropbox, except it gives you eight gigs of free storage when you buy the Prime. Right now, it's only two gigs if you just want to sign up for it and put it on your Android device but when you do get the Prime it actually does give you 8 gigs and it's pretty much exactly like Dropbox if you install it onto your computer it you can put things in the folder and it syncs up the folder and it names it uh, my sync folder or you can name it wherever you want and the cool thing about that is it is exactly like Dropbox but it gives you 8 gigs for free only downside of that is that I can't actually sync an entire folder on my Prime. So if I have a folder like my um, camera pictures, I want to be able to sync all those photos onto um, the web storage. I can't do that. Um, here it is, um, Asus Web Storage. I can't sync an entire folder, but from the computer side, I can sync up anything from that folder. So if I just throw anything into here, um, here's my computer. If I throw anything to here into the um, Asus Web Storage, it syncs it up to, it syncs it up, and I can download it anytime on my device. But I can't. If I want to be able to sync up photos, I actually have to go over to whatever the folder folder is, and then find it, upload it, uh, to go through the. These are all my fold, all the folders on my Prime. Uh, if I want to go over the camera and I have to actually give it a little check mark of what I want to sync up and it'll sync it up except I had to do it automatically that's the only real downside of it I thought I could actually uh, be able to sync an entire folder but can't do that um, and that's pretty much my web storage it's pretty cool um, like I said 8 gigs is plenty I'm I'm not going to be storing a lot of data on there. Oh, and the cool side about that is they don't they don't give limits on um, folders. I mean files, so you can actually have a huge four gig file on there, and the Asus doesn't put any limit on it, which is pretty cool. I think Dropbox it gives you it gives you a limit. I'm not sure what the limit is, but it it, it does give you a limit for each file. But um, the Asus Web Storage actually doesn't give you a limit. Uh, let's go back in here, and then that's um, the Asus web, so web storage. And here's the um, other cool thing is the My Desktop, which basically is just powered by Splashtop. Put a focus on that. Which well, um, it's powered by Splashtop, and it's just a remote desktop app. <clears throat> like right here, I have my um, workstation at work, and then I have my um, personal home computer. Home computer is turned off, but here's my personal workstation right here. And I have, I'm playing the radio on the state on my computer, but the sounds actually coming through the device through the Prime, um, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's a normal, it's pretty standard what you're gonna get from any type of um, my desktop. So yeah, so you can see the sounds off now um, it does recognize multiple gestures like I can zoom in with the two pinch zoom um, I can use three fingers to move around the screen uh, two pinch zoom, zoom back out um, standard stuff it's basically what you would expect from any type of remote desktop it's there is a little of a lag of course but it's um, pretty cool and I do like that the sound can actually come out so if, if I ever need it then the sound is just there uh, here's the cool thing to it, it still runs in the background 
Uh, if I go to the home, fo home, it runs in the background, and I can do whatever I want to do. Uh, I go read a book, and the sound is still coming from my computer, not from the Prime. But the only thing is that, yeah, when you do run a program, it does stop. So I can go back to Splash Top. But basically, when you stop it, it does actually stop. And it disconnects, in other words, when you launch a program. So that's a little. So I can do little things like this. Um, let's test this out right now if I want to go to my calendar. Okay, no, I can do little things like viewing my calendar and whatnot. Nope, no, I can't. Apparently not. No, it disconnects again. So, it's not a fully multitasked app, but it works pretty good, pretty well for what I need it for. If I ever need to go into my computer. And that's that. And it is um, capable with the um, keyboard as well. Let's see, what was that? Go back to my cloud. And then it has the um, app vibe, which for some reason hasn't been on for a while. I have had play I have played around with it. It's just basically like an entertainment um, place where you can download movies, books, video, videos, music. Any type of entertainment. Um, it's supposed to be Asus's sort of iTunes substitute, but yeah, I'm never. I'm not going to use it at all. I'm, I mean, I, I, don't, I really don't have a need for it. I do everything through my computer at home and Google Music, which is pretty cool. But that's about it. And yeah, these those are the three different features that come under my cloud. And if you want to ask me anything about them, or if you have any questions about the Asus Prime, I am making videos on the software, just for people who are interested in buying one, like I was, and wasn't really sure on what I was getting, but I do like it a lot, and it's really cool. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later.